Hi everyone, Jackie here today. I wanted to show you um, the cover I made for the second tea and reading journal. So I put this beautiful sari silk ribbon for the closure. And here's the cover. And there's a book, a little, uh, not a book plate, but a, a little, I'm not sure what you call it, a little plate up here that says tea for two. And then I put this beautiful image and a little charm here that says peace. And then it says tea, bless ordinary everyday afternoon tea. Agatha Christie said that. So that's as far as I've gotten on this. And um, I'm quite happy with that. I think it's really pretty. So, and of course, I haven't done the inside yet, but I think that's really super pretty. I'm very pleased with that. So this one was the original cover, and I wanted it because it said T on it, and it has all kinds of different things. But I'm not very, you know, I, I don't know what I'm going to do to it to make it look better for me. It's not as pretty as the other one right now for me. So I'm thinking I might use a button for the closure and have um, something, a piece of fabric or sari silk or something come up and just wrap around. So I was going to look through my buttons and see what I might have to go with that. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. That's probably really loud. Um, I really, I just want something. I'd like a a blue, really, because, but I don't like that one. That one's blue. It doesn't really, um, stand out to me very much that way. Um, about something like that. Let's see. What does that look like? would be about there probably that's about halfway um, what do you guys think of that hmm all right it's brown this is black in here but I kind of like that one so that might be something that's definitely not what about this one hmm it's cool, but I think this one looks really more vintagey. Um, so I think we might go with that one. So let's put these back in my button jar. So I tried to work on the, that other cover last night, and I I put the fabric on and tried to work on it, and it just uh, the, what I started just. It just didn't look right to me, so I didn't glue any of it down. I thought, we'll just wait, you know, and see what you think in the morning. Because sometimes that, that will really help um, make a decision. So um, I did it this morning, and that was much better. All right, so we could put that on there. I like that. I'm going to ink around here a little bit first. Well, I think about what I want. Ugh, what else should we put on there? I want to grunge this up quite a bit. Maybe that's what I'm not liking yet, is that I haven't grunged it up and put some other elements on here. So how is everyone? I hope everyone is doing well. And had a great weekend. Hope you did something good. Did something good for yourself. Enjoyed your families. Just had some fun. That weather on Friday sure was beautiful. And now we're back you know, in the high 20s, but it's, that's better than being in the teens for sure. Spring's coming. It's coming. 
All right, that grunged that up nicely. Now, let's see what we're going to do on this one. Get this grunged up. I was playing aggravation with my mom a little while ago, and I've never seen someone roll so many sixes in my entire life. Holy smoke, she rolls them. It's crazy. She beat me two games to one. I won the first one, and then she won the second two. Yep. And she plays like just, you never know. You just never know you what you think she might do. No, she never does what you think she's going to do. It's fun. We have a good time. We used to play when, when I was in high school. Every afternoon when I got home, we'd play a few games before she um, went to work. She was a waitress, and then she was also a hostess at a restaurant up on the mountain. And uh, so we would play a couple games of that before she went to work. All right, so we have grunged that up. And I think I am gonna put some lace down the spine. Um, what have we got? I used up all my, I used up all my tea stain lace, yikes. I guess I did, wow. This is way too big, unless, Unless I want to glue it around to the front or the back or both. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, it definitely has a, a one a, a way to go, doesn't it? Well, it could come across like that. And add a little to the front of here and then it would be like right up like that even on this side and then kind of just come over a little bit like that that might be fun that gives that a nice look all right I think we might do that so let me just cut a little off so it can go underneath. Okay, that is good. And we want something to go along the bottom. I like this. Emma, Emma. Somebody's walking by. Emma needs to protect me, always, always needs to protect me. Okay, so that might be fun along the bottom, like, and right around. Now, I know this is funny on the to go around like this, but um, taking Mrs. Cog's class, um, that is exactly what we did. Um, we went right around like that, and I thought another time I would go underneath it, but I don't know, let's see what it looks like if I were to take that underneath. Let's just see. Let's just see. Hmm. Okay, so do we like it like this? Or do we like it like this? I think on top. I think on top. Now, the other question is, should we do one on the bottom and one across the top? Or just on the bottom? I'm thinking we'll do one just on the bottom. For now, I could add it. I am also going to stitch all the way around this before I add any of this lace and things as well as the other one I need to stitch around. I'm going to stitch around this one in the pink that's in my machine now 
this one I'm going to try to find, I might even do it in black around the edge. I think that would look really good and be dramatic on there. So then I was wondering if I wanted to put an image, reading image on here and try to not cover up the T. I really like that image of this, of this lady. It looks like she has her knee up in her <laughs> purses, um, you know, to rest it on. Um, and I could, I could cut that down a little bit too. She just looks so comfortable and reading and I like that. And maybe even over this way a little bit. And the other thing I'm wondering is if, well, let's look at a couple more of these to see what else might fit there. Mm, I love this one too, but she's little. Too little, too little. I love that one, but she, that's too little. Really the only other one would be this one that's big enough. Hmm. Oh, and if we're also gonna have that button on here, um, I guess we'd want her over on this side then with the button there, like that. Uh, let's see, and I also had out, I'm wondering if I wanted to add um, a little plate on this one. Um, let me just borrow this. Okay, yeah. No, you're fine. You're not going to go out and chase that person. Borrow this for a minute just to see. That might be okay too, huh? Are we starting to like this a little better maybe? I don't know. Please leave me comments. Tell me. Just tell me what you think. You gotta help me out. I never get any comments. You guys gotta leave me comments. Just good comments, though. Con constructive criticism, not, you know. Oh, there's a couple more here. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. I'm gonna put these away. I was looking for these forever. Just found them. Um, so I'm hoping to get my charms because in my charms I have a little. Um, teacup coming that I want to add into my charm. So let's see, what do we want to do? Do we want that to be a little smaller? Because I'm probably going to want to um, layer that up a little bit. Hmm. Um, I have this beautiful sorry. Mm, no, I guess not. What about that one? Nope. They just don't quite do it for me. So let's do, um, we'll do a little bit of cheesecloth and a little bit of, and a little piece of um, linen hanging around here. Where did you go? Just, mm, come on. Hmm. I don't know if it's really, it's not really linen, it's um, just cotton cloth. I had a little piece though, where'd that go? Okay, well, this is how it goes, you know, I'm flying by the seat of my pants here. I just turn it on and, and turn on the camera and just do whatever, because that's, that's the way to do it. All right, I'm going to cut this a little bit. I'm just going to make a little, um, I don't know. Maybe a snip there, and then I'm just gonna rip. And if I cut straight, it will rip evenly. And it might have, I'm not really sure. <laughs> um, not really, huh? Yeah, no, it didn't. Darn it, but that's okay, doesn't really matter. Oops, lost my lace. I wish I knew how to pause my phone when it's taping and I don't, I've looked at it and tried to, you know, have the video going and figure out how to pause it so I could like pause it now and just do my sewing and then come back and add it. And I don't really know if that's an editing thing you have to do, not really sure. 
Oh, there. That string was going on and on and on. So, what I was thinking, let's get you out of the way for now. And I want to leave you because that way we'll see what we're doing. So, I'll maybe put this here. I'm going to cut that little end off because I want to be able to fray. And I can't fray with a little end like that there. I'm not, I like that really frayed side. This side isn't going to show as much, so we don't need to kind of worry about that. But so I'm just wondering if I want to like cut a little bit of that off and make that a little smaller. And I really think I do. Hmm. Do you think I can cut it straight? Probably not, Emma. No. No, Emma. You know what? I'm going to fold it first. And that way it'll give me a little bit better. It'll show me where to cut. Just we're out. You only want to go out because you saw that man walking and he's long gone by now. All right. So let's give her some ink. I thought I wasn't getting any ink on here. Of course, it doesn't really show in the, the darker spots, but... Okay. And that will just go over the top. Fine. Emma, no, you need to go to bed. Go on to bed now. You've been out enough, you're fine. Okay, here's some cheesecloth. Just to make another layer here. So that's fun. Okay. Um, I do have a little piece of. Uh, I'm not going to find that now either, of course, because. Hmm. I have a little piece of my orangey sorry silk okay well first of all i'm going to just cut this right up here i don't want too much and i don't want it really bulking out that this ribbon because this is pretty bulky on its own so i'm thinking maybe to bring out the orange a little bit there I mean, I really have no orange because that's just not one of my colors. But let me get a piece of this. This one over here. This one is pretty fun, actually. Okay, let's look at this one. I could iron it out a little, but... I may have to do that. Let's see. Will this be too much? Too 
too much or do we want it over the cheesecloth? I think maybe under the cheesecloth. Um, and I think I'm going to have to give this a little bit of an iron. Just hang on. Just a little bit of an iron just to smooth it out a little bit so that I can work with it a little easier. I think my iron could be ready to say goodbye. It's working a little crazy. It um, has an automatic shut off. But, today I noticed that it did not automatically shut off. I was working away and went to have lunch and came back and it was still on. It did not shut off. So, I need to be careful about shutting that off. And I'm plugging it now because of that situation. Okay, get over here. Let's see. All right, the band-aid has to go. You know, it's one of those little cuts in the corner of my thumb, and it just keeps breaking open. It's annoying. All right, let's see. Okay, well, that's kind of fun. I mean, when I glue it, I may even sew around this, actually. So I have a few things that I want to sew. So, <laughs> all right, what do you think? It's like there's a big space there, right? Maybe I need to move this up a little bit. You can still see the T. And that will go there. And when it ties around, I'll, you can wrap it and tie it kind of on the side so it won't be like across there. Okay, I think that's better. I still feel like this is not in the right place. Maybe that needs to just go over there. What do you think? Do you think that's better? I think it's better. Is it as cute as this one? I don't know. Of course, I prefer the pink kind of business anyway, but that's certainly better. I mean, when I list these on my Etsy site, <clears throat> it would be good if they were both, like, cute, right? I did love this fabric, but it didn't really, um, I don't know. I really liked it. I was looking for something for tea, and I saw this, and I thought, oh, that's perfect. But I don't know. Okay. So, I think that looks pretty good. So I have a lot of sewing to do on this. Um, I'm gonna cut my lace, not lace, ribbon down here. So I have the right piece. And then I can get this out of the way. All right. So I'm just gonna get all these pieces together and off camera, I will do this. Something just fell down, I don't know. That was a little weird. Oh, maybe I just... <laughs> no, I, I flung the <laughs> thing. Ugh. That was not so good. Okay, so that one's ready. Now, I want to think about what I want to do in here. I have this paper that I think I'm going to go with on the inside. For here and for here and see it won't quite do it everywhere so I probably gonna do something else here so there and there okay so I think we'll cut these I think I'll cut that so let's just see what we want I want it to come so I want it to come
come out over this. And that's a that is very glary, isn't it? Let me just is that better? I don't know. Um so I don't let's see, four and a half. That would be like there. I think that's too much. I think I think four and a quarter. Hmm. Four and a quarter. Is it quite gonna do it? Um I think well that's hmm. Well, I think it's gonna be four and six eighths. Four and six eighths. So I'll do that one. Now is this one gonna be about the same? No. Is my cover? Hmm, they should be the same. Um but that seems to be a, a wee bit bigger. Hmm. Interesting. That's you now that is five, and that's five. I guess it just looks different having the thing come in. So then, well, four and three quarters would work there. Uh, all right, I'm going to cut them four and three quarters, and and let's see, and uh. Do I want to just do it eight? Because I like some of this to show. Eight. Eight will work all the way. Okay. Four and three quarters. Eight by four and three quarters. All right. Okay. Dope. It's a pain in my wrist there. Oh, what's going on? Strings and strings and strings. All right, here we are. What did I say? <laughs> eight. Did I say eight or eight and a half? Eight and four and three quarters. Okay. So eight is the height and four and three quarters. So let's do... Um, first, let's just cut off this edge. Cut off the edge. There we go. Cut off the edge. This is going to be eight. Eight high. I have to see which way I want to cut it. One three quarters. And do it eight first. I like to do it, you know, you want to do it so that you get the, the best piece of scrap. And this is going to be the best way to do that. And then do four. And I like that look. So we're going to do four and three quarters on that. Four and three quarters again. I don't know how that's crooked when I. Well, I guess it's not really. Uh, okay. So let's see how we did. I always got to check them and make sure that you did what you wanted. So, whoops. So this one would go here, and this one will go here, and then everybody can bend, and then this piece could go here, or here, or not. I don't know. What do we think? What do we want to do? 
I really like this this piece though. This is another piece of paper from that great um, paper pack that my cousin Mary gave to me. It's like, oh, it's so pretty. All right, let's see. What would we want to do then for the middle? Hmm. Let's just check out the paper pack and see what we might do. I don't know if there's anything in here that I would want because it's all lovely patterned pieces. And I almost think something a little plainer, although that's nice, isn't it? Hmm. Is, it, is that gonna be too much pattern? Let's see, I do like that one. Let's go from the back here. Make a bigger piece to look at. Stripes are not my thing. I love this one. Ugh, I really love that one. Um, don't think that's good. Mm -hmm. mm. So there's polka dots. But I'm not a polka dot fan. I mean, I like it, but I don't think I like it with that. And there's that beautiful piece. Hmm, I guess we're gonna have to see. I mean, there's something like this that is actually, hmm. Let's see what that looks like. Somebody's out there yelling, no, no, go with the flowers, go with the flower piece. But you know what? I kind of like the way that looks, right? I think that's gonna be what I'm gonna use. I think that is it. That is it. Should I take the flower one out just to check? I guess maybe. Where is that one? Right here. I will use this on something because, well, I'll use all these on something. I'll have to go out of my comfort zone and do um, a little bit more of a more orange. Did I just shake you guys? Probably. Did I move it too? Um... Yes, I did. Hopefully that hasn't been like that the whole time. Okay, so, but I was gonna go out of my comfort zone and use, like, isn't that pretty? Some of these, um, which now I can't find them. The more orangey yellows, um, like this. I mean, it, that's really pretty, right? All right, let's see what we think. I'm gonna get rid of this. And let's look. That is really pretty, isn't it? I mean, you're not even gonna really see it because this is the spine area. Super pretty though but I do like that. That would be a nice cover. Okay, I guess we're gonna go with the flowers. I'm glad I, I'm glad I checked that out. All right, so this needs to be, it should be a two inch spine. It's not quite though. Uh, let's, so we'll go with one. Let's see. One and three quarters is not quite enough. I think that's six, one, one and six eighths. And I'll do this one the same. But this one's gonna be bigger because it's, I want it to go over this sewing. And this will go over the sewing of the button. So there's a few things I need to do off camera, so. So that also will be one and six eighths. All right, I think I'm gonna um, call it good for now. I'm gonna sew around both of these and um, then I may uh, come back in an another video to um, work on this cover with you so you can see how that all turns out.
Okay, I think we're good. All right. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you again.